world is beautiful, and everyone should be able to see this beauty. Hello, my name is Jan, and I study at the University of Twente. Today I will tell you about the story of my fish, Captain Bubbles. He once told me about his dream of seeing the world with his cage in his tank. I decided to do something about this, but let me take you back to the beginning. I told my friends about the idea, and they loved it. We decided to let his dream come true by building him a fishmobile. My friends already knew Captain Bubbles quite well, and they were all on board with the plan. We wasted no time and started brainstorming. How to even detect where the fish is? After some advanced approaches, we decided to use a camera. Oshit had the great idea of using the RGB video signal to detect Captain Bubbles' color, and with that, the position in his tank. The camera sends a signal which consists of pixels with red, green and blue values, or RGB for short. We translate RGB to a use saturation and value color model, as orange has completely different RGB values for different shades. The saturation and value describe the brightness of the color, which makes it a lot easier to program the limits. For the future, we could also use this type of signal processing for actual real-world applications. A great idea that came up was sorting green tomatoes from red ones. Unfortunately, we noticed this was already invented, so back to Captain Bubbles. Tom made the model of the fish and proved us right with the assumption that making this self-driving fish tank is indeed possible. He tested different concepts of converting the position of the fish into movement and helped us finding the optimal values to move the device in a smooth way. With that in mind, we started with building the device in the design lab of the university. We decided to use wood, since so it is handy to work with, lightweight, and Captain Bubbles loves to have nature around. We used continuous servo motors for low velocities, since implementing seat belts was not possible. A pole for the camera and four omnidirectional wheels were mounted. All the electric is stored underneath the bottom plate, so we can protect it from water and ensure a safe ride. When we started testing, it was working instantly. Okay, maybe it took us a bit of time to figure out the last few bits. But Smilla, Ochid and Julian wrote tons of code and wired three Arduinos together in a jungle of jumping cables and breadboards. One Arduino is used to process the camera image. The aquarium was divided into 12 squares, to which every square is given a number. If the Arduino detects a fish in a certain square, the Arduino will output the associated value. A second Arduino handles the input from our sonar sensors. If an obstacle comes closer than 30 cm, it will give this information and the direction in which the obstacle was detected to the third Arduino. Finally, one Arduino handles all the inputs and processes them to control the motors in the right ratio. This was quite a challenge, because the omnidirectional wheels must be controlled separately. The moving directions result from all velocity factors added. To make this work, the wheels need to be mounted in a 90 degree angle. After a lot of testing, finally, it worked! One morning I woke up, I took my first cup of coffee, and of course also one for Captain Bubbles. But then I realized, he was gone. Nowhere to be found. If I would have known this before, I would have put the AAA on the leash 